Jennifer Green, thanks for taking the time. Uh, the MPSF Championships right here at the Air Force Academy in Clune Arena. Your impression, first of all, before we get into scores and all that, about the event. What did you think? I thought it was awesome. Um, <laughs> so uh, the championship um, venue was great. We branded our program um, really well, and everyone, all the teams loved it. So big win. Were you, uh, the crowd, the atmosphere, was it done properly, I guess? I mean, you've been to these before at other venues. How did we do? I thought we did awesome. Great job. <laughs> Um, no, but it was, there was a lot of energy in the um, arena, so uh, I was really pleased. It was loud, people were having a good time, and that's what it's all about. Did you hear from other teams? Did they, they like it as well? Absolutely, begging to have every meet in there. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Um, so your team finished third, but I think uh, the score very high for, what did you think about your team's performance? Oh, I thought they were awesome. Um, we started off on floor, and I, I thought the scores were great, fine, good. Um, and then we just kept building after that. So um, they did a really good job. They had a couple, one mistake on bars, but that didn't seem to rattle the lineup at all. Um, so, and that same athlete ended up having someone else's back on the next event. So it was good stuff. Yeah, it's good to see. Let's talk about bars. Let's talk about Amber Bowl, uh, conference champion. Did you expect this to happen? Nine nine two five. Oh, she does it every day in practice. So really nice that she did that in the meet. Really cool her senior year to be a conference champion. Awesome. Really nice for Anique, her first season to have a you know conference champion. That's pretty cool. Yeah, absolutely. And talk to me about um, you know o overall in the um, all around. Perfect job, second place there, and a great job as well. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, Valandra has been holding this team together for all season long, so she hasn't missed a meet, hasn't missed an all-around, um, so really fun for her. You know, a, a little mistake here or there, and she probably could have ended up winning, but hey, there's always next year. <laughs> there always is. Third place, I know everybody goes into wanting to win, but how do you feel and how do the ladies feel about their performance? I mean, remarkably, it seemed to me like your scores kept going up and up and up all season long. Yeah, that's a good thing, right? Um, that's the plan. The plan actually worked. Um, so the girls were really excited. They, We have 10 moments we talk about every day in practice, and every single one of them was the meet and clune. It was so fun to be there, the energy that they brought, and that they did a great job. So it was it was a great. It was a win. <laughs> so from here, you'll have the USAG Nationals uh, coming up in a couple of weeks. What do you do? How do you train? How do you get even better for that final meet of the year? Um, we're still working on the details. We're kind of going back a little bit because we have two weeks of two full weeks of training. So that will be nice. Um, and that kind of covers over spring break as well. So we can get a lot of work in and, and kind of just keep building and not let go, like not let off the pedal. So keep pushing and it should be fun to see what happens. It will be. Jennifer Green, thanks for the time. Congratulations again on a marvelous event and your job hosting it. Oh, thank you. Back at you.